Hello everybody, Hectix here, and welcome back to Kaido Racer. Now, uh, last segment, there uh, wasn't very much rivals during the night time, so hopefully this time we can make up for that. We did get a few new medals, so we had that going for us. Now, we do also have a special rival message here, again, believe it or not. So, uh, they want to challenge us in the Akagi PA tonight. I'm good with this. Now, uh, I do have two medals I'm going to be getting this episode. So I bought the cars required for them. As you can see, I have my Toyota Supra here. The reason I bought this is because I can kill two birds with one stone. I can do this Toyota one as well as in second Aroha. There is a um, four, I think it's the Giant Duel, I believe it's called. Requires a car to have 40 kgm of torque at stock when you buy it, or higher. So in my case with my Toyota or my Nissan Skyline, I can't use it because the standard model, one, the one you can buy from the shop, doesn't have 40 kgm of torque. So can't use it. So hopefully this goes relatively smooth and we can actually take care of this. I've done all the stickers, so I didn't forget about that. So Haruna is up first. Oh, right. Before we move on, I should bring that up, because uh, I slipped over it. The uh, answer to the question from last episode for the luxury brand of Honda, the answer to it is Acura. So for those of you that guessed Acura, congratulations. Good job. If you had to Google it, you learned something new. Now, the question for this episode, I've decided to give a really more obscure one. This is definitely higher on the difficulty chart, I would put it. But, um, what vehicle manufacturer, what is the name of the vehicle manufacturer that makes the supercar the Apollo S? So, again, what manufacturer makes a supercar called the Apollo S? That is the question for this episode. So, leave your answers down in the comment section down below. And I will give the answer to that next episode. So you got that to look forward to as well. Let's see how many people can get it without using Google. I'll be very impressed. Now, um, we have our Toyota Super here. We're going to be doing this Toyota Cup. Hopefully the setup for the uh, Super here is good. We need 115,000 points. This is going to be difficult because this car handles like crap in my opinion. It's way, way too oversteery, especially, I think it's more oversteery and more unpredictable compared to the RX-7. So if I crash and burn, well there's your answer. So we got 25 corners to do this in. So hopefully we can take care of all of this relatively smoothly. Ooh. I do have 30% traction control on it, so I'm hoping that keeps this thing under wraps, but as you can see, it's not exactly easy. Try not... Okay, good, it counted it, but I don't think that gave me the bonus. I didn't clear the corner. Try not to spin out when I do this. Yeah, that stopped the combo. Okay, but we're at the 14,100, so not too bad. Could be better. Now, this corner that I love so much... I'm going to butcher this, aren't I? Ooh. A lot better than I thought I would. A lot better. Glad the 30% uh, seems to be working. The car is definitely a lot more controllable than how I remember it being. But then again, I do also have less power in this thing than I should. It currently has what was it, like 300 and something. I don't have. I could get more than that. I can get into the 400s with it. But I chose not to do that. The only power items I have are the, ooh, tap the wall, I believe it's just the air cleaner, 
or the, um, no, scratch that. I got them both with the sponsor. I only have a level 3 engine along with the level 3 exhaust. So that's all that's in the su or this uh, Supra here. And uh, that's making a world of difference. It's a lot more controllable. We're up to 60,000 points, so we have about half. And I'm about to spin out. I don't think we have... I think that killed our combo, too. Damn it. This might be, uh, cutting it close. Provided I don't spin out again. It, uh, may have been beneficial to buy a... Um... Rigidity... Upgrade. Or a reinforce upgrade. help the car through these corners while going sideways. But it does have a lot of weight to begin with, but it's probably not the most rigid of a chassis. It's not like the um, Skylines. They have a very rigid chassis. But I think we're good. We got seven corners. We should be A-OK -okay for this. My tires are shot, but that's to be expected with such a beast of a car. There we go. That's taken care of, so we got a new medal for that. So, as you can see, I spent quite a lot of my money, so we're going to start building that back up gradually. We got the medal of... Balas? <laughs> I think that's how you say that. I don't know, but um, again, I think that's a spark plug. It looks like it, and, or if it's not a spark plug, it's a bolt of some kind, and then a rim for a shield. That's really nice. I like that. But that metal is done. That means Haruna is completely cleared. Don't need to come back here during the daytime anymore unless I want to do monetary races off screen, which I may end up doing. Now we've got the Honda Cup for Akagi. Now, I do know I have my EK9 Civic that I will be using, or I could be using, but I've got a car that is a hell of a lot better for doing this. By every stretch of the word, it will be 100% better than that EK9 Civic. So are you ready for this? You ready? Here's the car of choice. Yep, you read that correctly. I am going to be using this for this medal. I thought it would be quite amusing. To, instead of using a normal car, I thought I would use something stupid and silly. So, for those that don't know what it is, this is exactly what I'm driving. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't end poorly. <laughs> That this thing could actually drift. It's got no torque whatsoever. At all. But it's still getting decent points. I'm actually surprised at that. Oop, almost spun out. There we go. Okay, it's going to be hard to keep a combo going. Considering if I slow down too much, I've got no pick up and go. To get out of these corners. So I'm going to have to be very, very quick. I can't be nice and easy. Ooh. There we go. We're not doing too badly, but I'm probably going to lose. I thought this would just be amusing. If we lose, oh well. I can uh, just do this next episode with the Civic. But I thought, you know what, let's have a bit of a laugh. And just use something that's just totally unsuited for the event at hand.
But yeah, getting points isn't too bad, not gonna lie. There we go. We're keeping it going. We're doing actually pretty good with this. Despite what it is. It's actually getting a lot of points. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the height speed section here is probably gonna be... Ooh. Wow. Actually, that handled it pretty well. I think we may... May... Get it. We're gonna do it in a Honda beat, everybody. And we're good. We just got a battle with a Honda beat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was fun. I didn't think that would actually work. <laughs> I just did that for a laugh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a silly run at some point again, just for the hell of it. But we are probably gonna need the Honda beat for something else later on anyway. So I do believe there's a um, less than one liter cup as well at some point, so I do believe it'll come in handy. But let's use it early. So we got that one, and we got the Medal of Ambition. Yeah, we were very ambitious. We decided to use a stupid car for it. <laughs> it's worth it. That is completely worth that medal. There we go. Oh, that's going to be great. Best episode I've done by far this entire time. Just for this entire thing. So on to first Aroha. I am not going to be using the Honda beat for this. You can forget that. I'm going back to my skyline. <laughs> there we go. So, um... We can't do these, because we don't have enough tickets yet. So, it's just med or a middleweight duel for both this and second Aroha. And then we can move on to nighttime. But my god, I can't believe I just did that in a Honda beat. <laughs> I I I'm just very surprised at that. Genuine... You know what? After this, I will go to the garage, and I will show you just how much power and torque that beat has. So let me quickly finish this, and then I'll go and show you. So hopefully this goes a lot smoother, considering I have more track or um, more torque going to the rear wheels instead of the front. Well, more than I had before, I should say. Oh, we lost our combo there. Tucked it in a little bit too early on that corner. But we made through it from the previous corner in this one. There we go. That's all done. Easy money. Back into the 30 millions. So we're making our money back. Gradually. So second Aroha. For middleweight. 10,500 points. That's not too bad. It's actually surprisingly easy. I didn't think it'd be that low, especially on what level 3 I believe this is. I thought the points would be just a tad bit higher, like the previous one, it was in the 13,000s, so... Oh well. But it's nice to have some more pick up and go with the new engine and exhaust. It just feels really good. There we go. Almost got half the... No, we did. We pretty much got half the points just on the first corner. And this hairpin should be the last one. There we go. And we're done. Not too difficult. Not too difficult at all. So, there goes uh, the 15 minutes of silliness for this episode. <laughs> On to nighttime, but first, I do want to show you that Honda beat in the garage. So, I just got that medal, 
getting 115,000 drift points with this. No turbo, only has 104 horsepower, and not even 10 kgm of torque. The only thing is, it weighs less than 700 kilos. That's it. That is the only thing it's got going for it. Keep in mind, that right there is fully tuned. Up to the standard that I have now. I don't have any higher parts than I currently do. I know there are higher parts. But for what I can get, that is as powerful as it is. I cannot make that any better. And I just did that. I will be keeping that car. That car is going down in history in this series. I'm calling it here. Whether you guys think so or not, that car is an absolute beast of a car. Anyway, let's move on to nighttime. It's still ro freaking raining. Damn. I want to take these wet tires off and just... Uh, damn. Shouldn't be anybody in a Kone. What about Haruna? Are we going to get lucky? No. Akagi? Probably not. Oh, we got a trickster here we can race. I'm good with this. Ooh. Impreza. S level 5. Oh, that would be nice. That would be really nice. But I'm surprised he's offering that considering he's an Impreza, which has a boxer engine. Oh, well, let's take care of this guy. So I do believe I'm behind him. LF, I believe, yeah. LF, I'm chasing. FL, I'm leading. If I'm not mistaken, I forget. I do remember in the original series I mentioned this. Actually, that's the one thing I never actually talked about that I did before what uh, each race entailed I completely completely slipped my mind but you know what we're this far into the game I'm pretty certain you guys have a grasp on what each one is by now as well but yeah I'm chasing him so if I pass him I gotta beat him by 50 meters as we already know so I got a better launch but I'm expecting him to be a little bit more on the torquey side for these straightaways. I'm not expecting to just run away with it. At least I shouldn't run away. These are two really, really good cars. So, And I ran away with it. Not even a 30 second race. Almost, but not quite. I expected better out of him, but we got a better free engine, even though we just got the level 4 engine last episode. Didn't throw that one on the curb, somebody can take it. So first, Aroha. Got a team, two supporters, and a high gambler. So let's take care of the high gambler first. That should be the most threatening. He's in a, uh, I believe that's an NA2? Yep, NA2, because I couldn't quite tell... The way this is angled, whether or not those are pop-up or not. So, 3.5 million from him. And, oh, an ASL Garaya. Not a bad car. It really isn't. If you got it sooner, I would definitely consider using that for the entire game. That is a very, very good car. And the only... Funny enough, the only reason I know of that car, or how I learned about that car, was Gran Turismo 4. Because it wasn't in GT3, if I'm not mistaken, it was not. ASL didn't make its appearance until Gran Turismo 4. So, I remember having a race car version of it, and it absolutely kicked everybody's ass. It was so good. It was a really good race car. The lower tiers. Once you got to the higher tiers, well, yeah, you're not going to win. But, uh, Death Gimmick? is up here in his uh, Honda NSX. Or Acura, depending uh, which brand, because they're both, again, sister companies. As I've already uh, talked about with the... Uh, oof. Yeah, okay, that's going to be irritating. 
That's just irritating as hell. I didn't think it was such a quick race either. But uh, they're going to kamikaze me into that wall. Yeah, that's going to suck for those races. I may just let them run f ahead of me for that section. And then pass them afterward. I think it might be better. But for that race, it wouldn't have worked. Because if I did, he would have won. Uh, so let's take care of this Goraya here. It's a time attack for a hill climb. Now he has the advantage in terms of weight, but I've got power and torque over him, along with the fact that uh, I've got all-wheel drive, but F he's a rear-wheel drive with a midship, so he is still threatening. Ah, excuse me, need a drink right there. Throat was bothering me a little bit. So what's his time? A 42-4. Okay. And away we go. Okay, I'm definitely going to beat him. Definitely, just by the way that went. I'm fast through the corners, and I think I have him beat in the straights. So I should be theoretically okay here, and take it a little bit easier through this section. I could probably go a bit quicker, but I'd rather not uh, mess up and have his ghost pass me. And there we go, there's the mess up. Still one though. Kinda close. Couple seconds. Not bad, not bad. So 200 grand for that. Now who's the other supporter? Ooh, a Starion. That would be nice and okay, I take it back. Last episode, I burned your retinas with um that I forget what car he Oh, he was in the Primera if I'm not mistaken. With those terrible rims, do not look at his. Dear God, I'm looking away and I'm doing this just like this. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, wait, I don't want to bet a car. Um, no. I want to bet money. That would be a lot better. But I advise you, do not look at his rims. Do not look at those rims. You'll be needing eye surgery again. And then after that eye surgery, you're going to need eye surgery again after that. Just to fix it just a little bit further. Don't look. Oh, God. It's so bad. Oh, God. Great, now I'm blind. Well, how now? How am I supposed to race now? I'm blind. <sighs> this is this is going to be very difficult. Very, very difficult. <laughs> anyway, joking aside, I'm acting a little bit too much of a fool now. I do believe. Let's just move on, and uh, let's kick his butt. Wow, even at a slow speed, I can't take that corner properly. Oh, he's actually keeping up relatively well through this section. Nope, now I think uh, that about does it for him. Yep, that about does it. Because now we're taking a left-hander here, and then... Oh, don't even get to use the straightaway. I thought I was going to. Oh well. So, that takes care of him, and we got a free Starion out of it. I really do like it. Even though it does have um, a little bit lower of a power rating than I would expect. It's still a very nice looking car. I really do like that. So, free car. Added to the garage. I'm glad I have uh, plenty of space. Because I bought more than I'm ever going to need. But, uh, let's take care of this team. So... Another, uh, so they're both legacies. Fantastic. So I don't know who's up first. Oh, I believe it's the guy here in front of me. So two, uh, boxer engines. Or two, uh, legacies. This is not going to be easy. Oh, 
Okay, I thought you would get a slightly better launch than that. I didn't think I would run away with it like that. However, at that start, having all-wheel drive isn't necessarily a benefit, considering you could pretty much go into a corner first thing. So it kind of pretty much mitigates the uh, launch that a four-wheel drive system would have pretty much instantaneously. So if you had rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive, it wouldn't be as much of a hindrance for you. But then once you get to the corners, well, that's probably where you're going to get your butt kicked. Crying Six Stars, that's supposed to be a take on Sorrow Six Star in uh, TXR3. If it is, then um, I'm guessing he sold his uh, Subaru Alcyon for a uh, Subaru Legacy. Not a bad decision. Not a bad decision at all. That is a very, very good upgrade. However, only downside is how heavy that Legacy is. But outside of that, good car. Very good car. Now, I still don't know if um, we get Subaru Legacies and Subaru Foresters here in North America. Because I don't believe I've seen any driving around here in the uh, southern part of Ontario, where I am. So, if you're in the States, if it's a regular occurrence to see them, then uh, drop me a comment. I'd actually kind of like to know that. Wouldn't mind learning something new there. But anyway, that's... First Aroha done. Let's move on to second Aroha. Who do we have here? Two normal rivals and a trickster. Sounds fair. See nothing wrong with this. Ooh, an RX-7. SP battle, and it's a hill climb. I'm good with this. This doesn't seem too difficult. In fact, it's going to be more difficult for him trying to keep that car under control. However, I don't know if that even plays a factor considering it's an AI-driven vehicle. So they probably don't have to worry about that. But I could be wrong. Anyway, through this section we go. Ooh, he's got some pickup and go. And up the hill. Brakes early on that one. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely better through the corners than he is. The benefits to having all wheel drive and not rear wheel. Four tires are better than uh, two tires in terms of handling power. And to quote Initial D, um, oh, you don't know, forget that I can't remember it. Crap, I just thought of it and I lost it. Four tires are for handling power that two tires cannot. I do believe was the line. Somewhere around there and I just butchered the hell out of that. I apologize. So, SP battle for this person. And he's in a Merc. This, ooh. A lot of weight. It is a downhill, so that's going to suffer for him. But 60.5 kgm of torque, that is a lot. But he's going to need that for the amount of weight he has to shift. So I guess it makes sense. Now, if he had that much torque in, let's say, 1,000 kilos, I would be scared. I'd be very scared. <laughs> but he doesn't, so... Goodbye, Mr. Heavyweight. Time to put that car on a diet. Stop eating all the lug nuts. Should give some to the rest of everybody else. I'm pretty certain they would love to have some. There we go. He's actually doing a little bit better than I thought he would. He's not falling as far behind as I figured, but he's still back there, nonetheless. There we go. 36.4. Was hoping to have a quicker time than that, but um, oh well. So much for that. Anyway, let's take care of the final rival tonight. 
this trickster over here. S level 6. Oh, I just got that level 5 engine and now I can kick it to the curb. Yay! So, it's a hill climb. He's, oh, he's in a fake R34. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to kick his ass now. Like, there's no questions asked in this one. I definitely have to kick his ass. Ugh. Ugh. That just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It really does. Like, ugh. Ugh, I don't even want to look at it. I really don't. But he do it does look good having black with the black rims. But it's not a real skyline. Ugh. Shoo. Get off my screen. Thank you. Oh god, he's back! <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, now I have to beat him by 150 meters. Or get to the goal first. Shouldn't be too difficult. But we are about even, but I've got all-wheel drive. So, I'm handling powers that are handling power that two tires cannot. There we go. There's the proper line. That made it. I, that was my redemption for earlier for butchering that. Actually, we might get the 150. Looking at uh, the distance at the top. If the straightaway is just long enough. There we go. I should be good now. There we go. That takes care of him, and we got a new engine. To get it to replace the new engine we just got. Yay. <laughs> uh, about time. Really is about time I started getting some parts. But that takes care of night time. We can move on to day. Nine more wins. 142 to 2. Wow. Got some new emails, new information. So, I'm going to put the new engine in. So, car parts, player parts, equipment, power, engine level 4. Oh, look, we got a level 5, but we got a level 6. Actually, the level 6 one has a little bit less torque, but it has a higher RPM range. Okay. Still got a decent amount of power, not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind a better muff or a turbo kit, not gonna lie. I do have level 3 weight reduction, I was wondering if I did. But there we go, we've got a really quite powerful skyline on our hands now. But uh, I do want to quickly check the information for everybody here. We got a Mercedes Benz, oh, and we got weight level 4. Awesome, I'm going to go quickly put that on my car, and as I do that, the question, not entry, what am I doing? Derp. Um, the question from earlier is, uh, what is the manufacturer that makes the Apollo S supercar? That was the question, so drop your answers down in the comments section down below. I'll let you know what the answer is next episode. And um, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.